Good day everyone, so I'm here to show and discuss to you what are the medical supplies or equipments that you need in your first aid kit in your home. But before that, why do we need it in our home? Um, we need it because it can help you to reduce the possible infection of your wounds or the severity of an injury due to the unwanted sudden accident. So now let's dive in for the medical equipment or supplies that you need in your first aid kit. First supply that you need is a band aid. I have here is a small size band aid and a medium size. This small size is in a pack that has a 10 pieces per pack and this one is a 1 piece per pack. Um, you need a band aid so that it will cover your wounds which prevents the bacteria going in that might cause an infection. And then you need an assorted bandages because there are several sizes of wounds or cuts that you need to cover up. Next that you need to have is a grip bandage or a triangular bandage um, because it can help you to cover up the large sized wounds to prevent it from excessive bleeding. Also a grip bandage or a triangular bandage can support your broken bones or injured bones such as sprained ankles, pro fractured elbow and the legs. Then the next thing that I will show to you is one of the most important thing that you need to have in a first aid kit, which is the gauze. Because this gauze serves a lot of purposes, such as cleaning the wounds, um, covering the wounds while applying pressure to it, and lastly, it can serve as a bandage because it can cover a large size of wounds. Here, let me show you the size of it. As you can see when you open it, Total, truly, you can see the size, it expands up to up to this size. Now you see why cause is one of the most important thing or essential that you need to have in your first aid kit. Next thing that you need to have in your first aid kit is a pair of non latex gloves. Because even though you sanitize your hand, it is still a much better, safer, and appropriate to use gloves when treating a wound. Also, these two, which are the cotton balls and cotton buds, will help you in cleaning and applying medical cream to your wounds. Note that this kind of cotton buds is not necessary. Just a normal cotton bud you can see in the market is enough. Next is an antiseptic wipe. Um, this wipe is a rubbing alcohol wet wipe that is primarily used to clean a certain part of your body or a wound. These are the rubbing alcohol wet wipes or antiseptic wet wipes. Next is a rubbing alcohol. This rubbing alcohol is also essential to have in your first aid kit because it can help you to sanitize your hands which prevents you from acquiring or spreading bacteria or viruses to one another and it cleans your wounds in which it reduces the chance of bacterial infection then a surgical tape um, this surgical tape can be used in securing your gauze when it is covering your wound or if you don't have a clip on your clip uh, bandage you can use this surgical tape instead. Next is a pair of scissors. Um, these scissors can be used to trim your gauze or cut your surgical tape. Um, but be careful when using this pair of scissors because it has its sharp edges. Next is tweezers. Um, these tweezers can be used in removing small pieces of glass or dirt on your wounds. Also, if it happened that there are thorns, bee stings, debris, and the like stuck in your body or left in your body that can't be removed using your fingers, you can use tweezers instead. Then, a thermometer. Um, this thermometer or any digital thermometer can be used in checking your temperature if it is normal or not. Now, for the medicines, I have here first the antibacterial cream. Um, this antibacterial cream uh, will reduce the chance of your wounds getting an infection. Also, it will speed up the healing process of your wound because it kills the bacteria. And the next is Panadol. Um, this Panadol 
is a type of pain relief medication. Um, there are also other brands such as aspirin or paracetamol. But the main purpose of this pain relief medication is to treat your fever or mild to moderate pains. However, if the pain persists or if the symptom persists, consult your doctor. Also, don't forget to check the instructions at the back to ensure your safety while taking these medicines. The next medicine that you need to have in your first aid kit is an antihistamine because an antihistamine will help you to control your sneezing, um, nasal congestion, redness of skin, itching, and any other allergic reactions. So, this antihistamine is for your allergies. The last medicine that you need to have in your first aid kit is a loperamide tablet. Um, this loperamide tablet stops the painful stomach ache or diarrhea for a short period of time. Take note, it doesn't cure it, so you still need to let everything out from your system in order for you to be cured from diarrhea or any stomach ache. Finally, um, you need to have a first aid book guide in your first aid kit for you to know more about the first aid supplies, first aid equipments, and most importantly, first aid procedures. So that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Always remember this, it is okay to be ready than sorry. Bye bye!